Hey fam, welcome to my final league for update part 6 day 55. I am both happy and sad that the Trailblazer Reloaded League is finally over. I am now free from this prison that gives me mixed feelings. I was able to reach tier 8 relic and picked Undying Retribution. My goals were to get the best equipment to prep for TOA. I was able to get the Neeti's Knot Face Guard, Dragon Bolts and Finished and Archer Ring. But unable to get Dragon Crossbow and craft a Region Bracelet which make the Diamond Dragon Bolts enchanted that I crafted useless as I am unable to use them with my Rune Crossbow. I had rebond my lead character after my 3 bonds period of 50 days run out in order to finish the late game easy 80 and 200 league tasks. I was able to grind tons of Scottizo and Rune Dragons, plus some Vorkats but run out of time due to my indecision and mid-league crisis forward slash dilemma. For the future League 5, I am going to change my game plan. I will be going for melee red, and I was going to be avoiding Z due to the favor grind and long quest kingdom divided plus having COX and TOA makes League a long grind due to how much time is needed to grind out a raid. I should have gone with Asgarnier for the Dragonstones and Zerd Crossbow instead of Tebow. I was able to grind out 7 level 99 skills which include farming, woodcutting, strength, ranged, defense, hit points and attack. I also made some mistakes in picking relics. I should have picked Trickster over Production Prodigy. Honestly, PP has been beneficial to my gameplay and affects 5 skills meaning more bank for my buck. Globetrotter was so good combined with the Apollo. I enjoy Banker's Mode a lot because it allows me to stay and grind Slayer tasks and mobs easily and avoid multiple teleporting to bank trips. Plus I can bring my whole bank of supplies, potions, foods, boosts, etc to the fight and just unload two at a time whenever I need them. Archer's Embrace is nice, unfortunately was unable to utilize the range rag for Inferno due to time issue. Honestly, should have picked Brawler's Resolve because it affects more skills. Bloodthirsty got a nerf and was a letdown and mistake. I should have picked Treasure Seeker instead. Bloodthirsty doesn't allow you to choose from a list of 40 plus monsters like before, now it's benefit only being able to NPC contact different Slayer Masters using Slayer Gem. It does increase his superior monster spawn chance but the drops are still dog shit. Ruinous powers are quite overpowered and really aids in the combat grind. Farmer's Fortune is a close second for those who neglect farming but it only affects one skill. Berserker is so good with the increased DPS and definitely much better and quicker KC than Afk's whole stealer. Undying Retribution pairs so well with Berserker. It is easy to trigger a death and undying by unequipping protection and often protection prayers and using Ruby Bolt Enchanted instead of Diamond Bolts Enchanted. So all in all, I will go Melee Relic, Maritinier, Condorin and Asgarnia in that order for next league. What relics and areas did you pick? Comment below. Please like and subscribe for the algorithm. See you next time and have a happy new year, my friends. Enjoy the rest of the video.